All right, brother. Thank you, ma'am. See you. Wow, that sounded good. You gotta close the deal. You're the closer. Well, I think I'm gonna go to the driving range and celebrate by hitting some golf balls. After you meet with Mountain Man. Why am I meeting with Mountain Man? You told him you'd meet with him. Running a successful business sometimes means taking meetings you don't want to take. Well, if I gotta sit through it, you're staying here and here as well. <laughs> okay, right? I'll stay. That's why it's always important to have an exit strategy. If I squint my eyes, that means diarrhea. That means you're gonna have diarrhea? Yes. I've been known to play the diarrhea card more than a few times. Why don't you just say, like, I'm fixing to have diarrhea, I gotta go. I think it's better if you say it. But hey, you can't argue with success. Corey, just validate my diarrhea. I guess you could say I've always got a little diarrhea up the sleeve. No one else can say just, you've got diarrhea. You have right, to do it fine. yourself. Have you been having diarrhea this morning? Mm, you passed the test. Oh, God. That'll be the look. You're don't weird. forget that, all right? And just to be clear, I don't really have diarrhea that often. Look who I got here. What's up, Mount Man? How you doing, brother? Doing good, good to see you. Hey. Good to see you, hey. Willie. Yeah. All right, Mount Man, I got stuff I got to do. What can I do you for? Willie, I got a new radio show. Proud of you. Going to try to give away a new truck. Great idea. Sounds good. Well, actually, I'm having one of them hands-on hard body contests. Everybody puts their hand on their truck. The last one standing there wins. Great idea, Mountain Man. Well, I was kind of wondering if you'd like to make some donations for the truck. Now, don't get me wrong. I love supporting my community. You always want to do what you can for the place you grew up in. What is this for? To help get the truck. Money is no object when it comes to old friends and good causes. You're gonna have a contest to win a truck and you don't have a truck? Not yet. Now, is Mountain Men's radio show a good cause? When is this thing? It's gonna be tomorrow, Willie. Jury's still out on that one. Willie, we gotta help him out. I'm not funding stupidity. No offense, Mountain Man. I appreciate that. Willie, where's your checkbook? Are you about to have diarrhea? No, I'm you got wondering. diarrhea? I'm fine. All right, I'll give you $20. Willie. Thousand bucks, you got it, and good luck to you. I was wondering if you could show up out there, too, and help get folks out there. No. Oh, that's a good idea. No. Of course, Willie will come. All right. Corey, what the crap? about my hair, it's gonna be the last thing you do. Be careful, don't pull her hair. Ew! Hey, y'all. Hey, babe. Still doing hair? Do you like it? Um, Pretty. That looks really, looks really good, babe. I don't believe you, I'm going to check. Nice try, Merritt. Go get him, bub. Go show him the triangle choke, Bubba. Did you see him do the triangle choke the other night on Lily? Yes. Oh, I about popped her head off, it was awesome. I have some news. Mm. It's really cute. Mm -hmm. Pausing. Lily has her first boyfriend. I mean, it's, it's boyfriend. They call it boyfriend, but you know, it's really like a boy and a friend. It's cute and innocent. It'll be fine. So. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. Do what? Don't be a weirdo. Just she's 11 years old. I had my first boyfriend when I was 11. What's his name? I imagine my daughters would start dating around. 30 to 35 years of age. I mean, all they do is talk at school. She's not even five foot tall. There should be a height limit. There's no kissing. There's no, there's only the whole Well, hand. I hope there's no kissing. She should be at least five, eight before she can go on a date. You're being weird. I'm cool. Cool as a cucumber. So you don't mind them going to play mini golf tomorrow? Jeff. Yes, I do mind that. It's not a date. It's a play date. All I heard was date. I hear date, I think no. My daughter's date, no. Play dates. No. Play dates. No. Play dates. No. They're just playing mini golf. I want to be there. 
Yeah, yeah we're going to You're freaking out over nothing. It's just one mm. little play date. Nope. Mm-mm-mm. Hey, Man, these burritos are delicious. That sucker was good till the last bite, boys. I think I put way too much hot sauce on mine. I tell you, you can't make it too hot, dummy. I'm really not sure why I agreed to do this. Is this it? This is a radio station. I was so blinded by my desire to stop talking to Mountain Man that I ended up enlisting in an entire day of talking to Mountain Man. Hey, what's going on out here? I need to start paying more attention to the things I'm agreeing to. Where's the contest? This is a contest. It's in my backyard. Well, where's all the contestants? Y'all the first ones here. I see that. Well, where's the prize? Well, the prize now is a wood chipper. You bought a wood chipper? Willie, I didn't get enough sponsors. Well, how many did you get? One. How many people did you ask? One. I'm the one? You're the only sucker. I announced it on my show. You got a radio show? Si, yeah, sir. You've been on his radio show. No, I hadn't. All right, look here. One time he got so mad he wet in his pants. And he threw a tantrum tantrum. He was crying like a big old baby with crocodile tears. They know I'm sexy. I ain't got time to listen to a radio show. Well, I just got a few more things to do and hook up, and we'll be ready to rip. You know, Willie, that's a pretty nice wood chipper. That's got to be the dumbest purchase you've ever made. They're gonna show up any time now. Nobody wants a wood chipper, Mountain Man. Once you've been suckered by Mountain Man into being a sponsor of a hands on a hard body contest, it's hard to imagine the day getting worse. What happens if nobody shows up? The contest is over. That's what happens. I would have quit while I was ahead, but I've yet to be ahead so far. Well, then I'll compete. You can't compete, you idiot. What are you talking about? I can't compete. What does the rule book say about that, Mountain Man? Whoever's got their hand on it last wins. He says that's the rule. Sai's so got his hand on it. Yeah. That's not the rule. What do you mean, Mount Mouth? If there's only one contestant, what happens? He wins. That's what I'm talking about. That thing, hey, that's a versatile machine. Hey, I'm afraid to feed this puppy classified documents. You can use it as a paper shredder, meat grinder, a blender, can opener, okay, a garbage disposal, a juicer, and look, them things are big these days. Take your hand off uh -uh. this. Then wartime, okay, you can turn it into a torture chamber. This is my machine. I bought it. During peacetime, when everything's good, okay, hey, convert it into a Play-Doh factory. How long before we start this contest? I'm about to start the show right now. And guess what? I'm in the market for all those things. Welcome to the Mountain Man Show with your host, the Mountain Man here. Are you kidding me? Well, not as many people showed up, but we do have a contender, Cy Robertson. And Willie's trying to convince Cy not to... Mountain Man, start the contest. Bye. That's what I'm talking about. This is old. It ain't on. Oh, yeah, it's on like a chicken bone. What happened to four, Mountain Man? Hey. Four. OK, uh -oh. shut up. I'm warming up, boys. <laughs> Three. Oh, oh, yeah, Hang I'm warming it up. Now, hey, ready. This puppy is about their mind. Two seconds warning. Jace, do you realize how ridiculous this is? Yeah. But I want to see Si win your wood chipper. Hey, that makes two of us. He's not going to win. Oh, yeah. That makes two, two. of us. That's not All right, that's what I'm whoa, talking whoa, about. Whoa, whoa. Come on, Mountain Man. One. In a strange turn of events, Willie Robertson has put his hand on the wood chipper. You're in for a world of hurt, Jack. This is the stupidest thing I've ever done. I think to put so much pain on you that you're not going to believe it. I think to rain pain on you, buddy. You know where the pain's going to come? Where? Whenever you got to rain, because you pee every 12 <laughs> minutes, Jack. Hey, I can hold it for hours. Si, yeah. you've never held it for more than 15 minutes. Oh, no. I <laughs> held it true. for three days and now. Three days and now I'm without going to the bathroom. That's impossible. You die. No, it ain't. It's going to be in my memoirs. Going to be in the memoir. He's holding it in and he's holding on. To win this wood chipper, I'll sit right here and pee on myself. How about <laughs> that? That, you can't, Mountain Man. Hey. 
You can't pee on yourself. Check the rule book, Mountain Man. There's no rule book. Jess, this is way too cold to play <laughs> mini golf. Well, you're the one that wanted to come out here. Yeah, where are these people, Jess? They'll see be here that? soon. It's late for a date. I don't know about this guy, Lily. Jeff, be patient. So far, everything's just great. Let's do a rain check. And the rain checks are good for like years, OK? It's freezing cold, but no sign of Prince Charming. You've been late for stuff. Thank you. You're always late. No, I'm not. Yeah, it takes you four hours to put that war paint on. Well, I guess we'll have to try it again next decade. We're going to have a good time, aren't we, Lil? Mm-hmm. Oh, here we go. There they are. You be sweet. All right. Well... Hey. Hey. How are y'all? Well, he looks kind of nerdy. That's a good sign. Jeff. Here you go. Oh, Thank you. Go. That is so thoughtful. <laughs> it's real thoughtful, John Daniel. Bring in flowers, huh? Nice work, Romeo. Flowers are real original. I can see through those glasses in your Bieber haircut, bud. Mr. Smooth, huh? My daughter will not be wooed in my presence. John Daniel, you listen to Mr. Robertson, OK? That's yes, right, buddy, because I got eyes everywhere, <laughs> back of my head, side of my head. Chap. All right, y'all have fun. OK. We'll see y'all later then. Okay. Okay. All right, let me see those. I'll take care of those. Let's go play some golf. I bet you $50 I'll beat you, John Daniel. Chap. The lily flowers stink. Stop doing that. I will break you. Do you notice the different sounds in that? The different sounds. God. There's no way I'm letting Sa si go home with this wood chipper. Da, 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 da. Uh, no, I can't do it. First of all, it's just a matter of principle. Hey, look into my eyes over here. No. Right here. Look into my eyes. Right no, here. No, I'm not looking look. at you. And second of all, it's a matter of safety. Hey. I don't want to hey, look at you. Right here. Look into my eyes. Last thing I want is to go over to Sai's house and find out he's gone and Fargoed himself all over his backyard. How are you still drinking? I can't believe you hadn't had to go to the bathroom yet. Yeah, that is pretty incredible. Hey, I work better under pressure, boys. Wouldn't pressure be a detriment? No. Sai's defined the laws of biology and physics. Okay, both of them. Sai, you ain't gonna beat me at this. It's personal. Willie just told Si it's personal and tensions are rising. Now, man, are you going to talk like this the whole time? Willie just asked me if I'm going to talk like this the whole time. This is hilarious. I got to call somebody. <laughs> just don't call him, buddy. It's going to be over soon. Hey, you're not going to believe what's going on. Get as many people as you can out here. Oh. All right, JD, let's see what you got, big man. Rejected. Chap. This kid is like a young Rico Suave. That's a birdie. Get you some of that, boy. Chap. Birdie time. If this guy wasn't trying to date my daughter, I'd probably hang out with him. Oh, a little hard. There you go. Good job. Solid quadruple bogey. But since he is trying to date my daughter, I will embarrass him in front of Lily. <laughs> wow, good one. Good job, babe. Oh. 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 Watch it. Giggle! Oh, nice. <laughs> Yucca. Jeff, it's mini golf. Top that, buddy. All right, JD, you got this. Whoa! Oh, wait. wait. A little rock trouble. You don't watch a lot of golf, do you? Mm-mm. Yeah, you might want to tune in. Here with me is Tim Mize. What brought you out here today, Mize? Was you listening to the show? Nah, I heard Jace call. Now Jace is gonna do a little commentary on here. This may look like two rednecks standing around with their hands on a wood chipper. All right, Willie, how do you feel the competition is going? But I'm gonna tell you something. This is something magical. Willie's gotten a bit testy and rude over the whole ordeal. This is an opportunity to embarrass Willie. 
Live action, mountain man. You can't beat that with a stick. I can barely contain myself, so I won't. Well, here's Al on the scene. Everyone's coming from miles around to see this epic battle. battle. These two titans. I had to see it to believe it. Al, don't you have better things to do? Mm, not really. Well, he's actually <laughs> starting to look like he's experiencing oh, some he's discomfort. Breaking. Oh, I know what that is. I recognize that. What is it, Ty? That's what you call the Tinko Dads. Hey, look, it's like when you come in the army, OK? <laughs> You've got to break them down first. You've got to break them. <laughs> and then you remold them and fashion them into the fighting machine that you want them to be. He's got problems. <laughs> well, that's what I'm doing. You know, I'm not going to fashion Willie into a fighting machine. I'm just into the breaking him down part. Right, look, I'm covering up the mic. It ain't number one, it's number two. Whoa, we have a developing situation. <laughs> Jace, don't say that on the darn radio. <laughs> it looks like somebody's prairie dogging. Willie's got a bullet in the chamber. Oh, uh, Willie got a log for the wood chipper. He's got a bun in the oven. I'm not sure that works in this case. Oh, yeah, it's burnt. Well, it looks like Willie Robertson is having a bathroom emergency. Mountain Man, shut up. The burrito has come back for victory. He fixed the blow, boy. Ah. Let her rip, hickory chip. This is awesome. Top that, buddy. Chip Robertson lines up his six-footer to win the match. It breaks a little right to the left. Chap, I'm cold. There was noise from the gallery, but it didn't affect him. He's just been destroying this young kid named JD. I'm not just trying to win. JD has been in tears. I'm trying to send a message, but Jep remains strong. And that message is, keep your grubby cootie mitts off my daughter, Poindexter. Jep, just end this. The gallery kept talking. It made no difference. No, 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 no. <laughs> you ever seen Tiger do that? Good game. Good game, buddy. After that beating you took, that's, that takes a lot of guts. Golf's clearly not your game, so uh, what do you like to do? I like to hunt. Mm. Killed any big bucks lately? Uh, 11 point. 11 point? That's impressive. I've only done that once in my lifetime. I'm cold. You can have my jacket. Oh. See, he's not so bad. He's a pretty cute kid. Thank I'll you. give him that. Yeah. So All right, sweet. let's go get warm. Come on, bud. Big hunter, huh? Mm-hmm. If you want to spend time with Lily, that's OK by me, bud. All right, it's a date. It's not actually a date, but it's a play date. Willie's starting to sweat now. Looks like the competition's getting to him. Either that or the burrito. It's the burrito. You ever get one of the grocery bags that the store clerk forgets to double bag, and it's just about chock full of the heaviest crap you bought? The truckers refer to it as a blowout. The plastic bag is straining, and it's fixing to disintegrate in your hands. And I think we got one on the way. <laughs> yeah, that bag, that's my stomach right now. I think there'll be a blowout around this joint. But I will poop my pants before I lose to Cy. Balloe! I might have to poop my pants. Hey, we brought food. I don't think Willie needs any of that. I ain't thinking about eating right now. What are you doing? This is about what we've been doing. Just standing here. Where's all the other contestants? Oh, you're looking at them. Where are you? Are you sweating? Huh, Emma? Why are you sweating? It's hot out here. Do you need to go to the bathroom? You're doing the squint thing. Mountain Man, can Willie have a potty break? Corey, don't say potty break. You can go to the bathroom. You just can't go to the bathroom. OK. The troops are mounting, my friend. Hey, oh. The blowout is near, boys. Yo, look, if you were doing this in an algebra equation, the torpedoes are getting launched. Gross. It would be burrito plus Willie's stomach, OK, equals Free wood chipper for Cy. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, it's simple mathematics. Willie doesn't need a wood chipper. Who does? Let Cy have the wood chipper. No. Hey, let me have the wood chipper. 
This is kind of ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Babe, come on. Yeah, come on, babe. Give it up. Shut up. How long are we going to wait? I would never take my hands off this wood chipper. Willie. Oh! Oh! That's it. I win. Si is the winner of the wood chipper. Willie. When I get back, it's under protest. We have a winner. Nice catch, Willie. I think that was the most compassionate thing to do. All right, let's eat. Mm -hmm. All right, look here, y'all bowing. I'll ask the Almighty to bless this food. Father, we thank you for this day. We acknowledge you as the creator and ruler of the cosmos. And we put our hope and trust in Jesus, your son. And it's in his name that I ask this prayer. Amen. 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 Learning to let go is one of the hardest lessons to learn in life. Whether it's letting go of being the most important man in your daughter's life, or letting go of good money mountain man blew on a wood chipper. The only way we make room for new experiences is by giving in to changes we may not be all that comfortable with. Sometimes the things you never thought were gonna be great turn out to be the best surprises of all. Unlike the surprise I left in Mountain Man's bathroom. I need some disaffecting in the bathroom. Okay, watch this, he can flex. Okay. Oh. oh, wow. Bella, why don't you give me a flex? Yeah, <laughs> muscular. There we go. There you there go. We go. <laughs> yeah. Being a parent, you want to do everything you possibly can for your children. All right, don't get bucked off. Really, it's not encouraging. Bella, you're doing great. There you go. Even horseback riding lessons. Look at that. That's priceless right there. No, there's a price on it. There's definitely a price on it. I just wish Bella's dream here wasn't so stinking expensive. When I was 11, I wanted to be a professional bowler. If you buy a $100 ball. Well, it's good life lessons you learn on a horse. Same thing with bowling. No. But because I'm such a good dad, and I know what it's like to have a dream of your own. I'm getting back into bowling. Oh, no. I'm going to be as supportive as I can. Good job, girl. Tony, hey, what's hey. up? Hey. How you doing, hey. man? Good to How see you. you. How are you? Good, good. good. Thank y'all for working with Bella. Yeah, she's doing really well. The only thing is, this is kind of an expensive gig, man. Really? Are... Okay. I'm just saying, I mean, they are. Well, they can be expensive, but they also can make you money. Somebody's making some money off these horses. Really? Look, some may call me cheap. I prefer the term business savvy. I didn't figure out how to make anything. I'm just spending it all out. Yeah. You don't get to the position I am just by throwing your money out the window. We give horse riding lessons out here. We also make a good bit of money on boarding horses, too. Bella's horse might be a money pit. I mean, investment in her dreams. But I wouldn't mind making an investment in something that actually has a financial return. If you really want to get into real money, you get into race horses. Is that that's, where all the money's at? That's where all the money's at. She doesn't need to get into that. Yeah. Pretty good investment. Kind of like bowling, you know? Oh, no. What are y'all doing? Well, tearing up stuff. That sounds about right. The yep. Three Stooges. Galvin thought he could cut dirt with a buzz saw. He tore up some of our equipment? He tore it up. Not me. I didn't tear it up. He said you'd cook us a meal, though. Is that right? Motivation. Every time they start to quit, I just say, chocolate pie, and they start working again. Uh. OK, I'll make the chocolate pies. What else what? did you promise? Dead bird. Huh? Whoa. Fresh kill. Oh, no. Bobo, stop it. Uh. Here you go. That's the second one this week. Another one? Yeah, he just keeps killing them. Bobo's like a Rambo in the yard. He's Rambo. -bo. He's an elite killing machine. You name it, he'll kill it. But I can't have dead birds on my hands. It's just gross. I don't like holding dead birds. You know, Bobo keeps eating those birds. I think he's got a taste for them. That's what little dogs do, like Bobo. They kill birds and eat them. Maybe we should get a bird bath, keep them safe. Miss Kay, you'll have to forgive me, but what exactly is a bird bath? Well, you see, it's like a bowl, but it's a bowl for birds. So they get in there, and they just wish and wash and curl, and that just feels so good. And it just sips his little beak and his little wings. Flutter, flutter, flutter. Little bird, little bird. And then Bobo will see that and be so happy. He won't want to kill him again. 
Oh, that cleared it up for me. Good. Hey, I know the perfect place. My mom goes there all the time, got bird baths and everything. Great idea, don't you think? Hmm. I've never been on a bird bathtub hunt, but hey, today sounds like a good day. Let's do it. Let's roll. Let's get out of here. I know this sounds crazy, but what do you call a place that has bird baths? Wait till you see it. I would just call it unique. Look at this guy. This guy's got potential right here. You know why? It's that face. He's got a racing stripe. Here you go. Or not. After talking to Tony, I decided to check out some of these horse investments. This is exactly what I'm looking for. That horse looks fast. Oh, she's super fast. As a backup, I brought along the guys. Sai, so quit giving that horse tea. They're actually the only people who know less about horses than I do. Look at this. She loves my deodorant. <laughs> she loves it. Hopefully, they'll just make me look like I know what I'm doing. This is the one I was actually thinking you might be interested in if you're looking for a racing really? prospect. Sai, so quit messing with this horse. I may invest in this thing. Hey, I'm not bothering the horse, all right? We're having a conversation here. What? Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that horse will bite you. No. Hey, look here. When I was younger, this horse kicked me in the head. Bam! Which is where my brain is at. <laughs> That's a good one. Then look, we bonded and connected at that exact moment. Sai, you're making that horse. Sai, nice. you're making the horse pulsate. Pulsate. It's like pulsating. <laughs> oh, no, Twitching. yeah, she's pulsating, all right? She's laughing right now. Listen to you clowns. So from then on, I could talk to a horse. Hey, it's like Avatar. Well, I mean, I like this horse, but it needs a cool name. I got it. What about Dream Killer? Dream Killer? Dream Killer. You don't like that? It needs to be a quick hitting name, like Sharky. Bum. What about Tron? Tron? Tron. Tron? Sounds like a make-believe Star Trek character. It's from the movie Tron. OK. I got a novel idea for it. Captain Explosion. Just think about it. Captain Explosions. That's pretty good. We ain't named this horse Captain Explosions. Take it easy. Look, I'm just telling you what the horse that you want to be called. I don't know about that part of it. But... But, I mean, what does a horse like this go for? You're looking at upwards of 50000 Wow. Dollars? OK, I'm looking to get my feet wet here, not go to the bottom of the ocean, all right? Well, just think about it, Willie. You could recoup that in one race. Ooh. Hey, you got to spend money to make money. I mean, this is a tough decision. But if there's one thing I've learned in all my years in business is that there's no substitute for seeing a product in action. <laughs> well, Willie, here's your ride. All right. Oh, hey. Okay. Hey. Are you ready to see her run? Yeah. yeah. Let's, Let's see, see what you got. Let's see what you got there, you little oh, fast oh, there yeah. There she goes. Oh, look at that sucker. Kick it up. Kick it up or not. There you go. Uh oh. What is this? <laughs> that horse just laid down. I'm to lay down and roll. That's a terrible sign. Be gone, boys. I may not know anything about horses, but I do know something about employees that take a nap on the job. <laughs> and I don't need another one of those. This investment just got a whole lot shakier. Well, was that a one-shot deal when she ran? Well, until feed time. Huh. Go get them, Captain Explosions. Si, get off the Captain Explosions. Well, what do you think? I don't know about a horse that just lays down. Well, hey, if you run 300 yards like she did, hey, you'd probably be tired when you lay down, too. I know, but I'm not an expensive racehorse. And this is the guy I wanted you to meet. Hey. My jockey, John Hey, how Jude. you guys doing? You're the jockey, yeah, huh? Yeah. What gave it away? I don't know. Probably because Probably. you're lightweight and short. Si, uh, what? It's true. Hey, I told what? it like it was. There's nothing against the man. Hey, look, in the jockey world, that is a compliment. What about it there, lightweight shorty? Yo. Ty, you basically call him a hobbit. Call him a hobbit? No. You call him a hobbit. I don't know quite what it is about the little guy, but he's kind of feisty. Is there a weight limit? Well, I wouldn't want to be Willie riding on the horse. Oh. Oh. Take it easy there. You'd have to bring back the chariot. Yeah, two-wheel job. Hey, look, you don't want a yes man. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. You want a man with got a little oh, OK? And hey, I think this kid's got it. Do you win a lot? Oh, yeah. I've won my fair share of races. Now you're getting perfect. So si, I'm putting money in this thing. Especially, hey, him and Willie are already at odds. Hey, hey, he's got my vote. I mean, look, you got the jockey. He's That's proud right. of his record. That's right. You got the horse. He took you're off running. You're done feeding. You're lightning, OK? What do we want to do? I mean, let's do That's this. Right. 
I don't know. Look, do I really care if Willie makes a good investment? Not really. What's holding you back? That's uh, my question. I was looking for kind of a sure bet here. No, <laughs> look, there's no sure bet to lie. No. But this is like sitting around a poker table, guy comes in, drops a huge amount of money down. Even if I'm not in the hand, I want to watch. You're talking about a gamble here, all right? I mean, nothing's for sure. Hey, nothing's for sure. I'm just here to make sure that he goes all in. Pay the man his money. That's right. Pay the man his money. What do you think, jockey man? You got to run to win. See? There you you got to run to win, there man. There you go. Hey, Captain Explosion. Hey. She's going to win it. We're not naming the you. thing Captain Explosion. Captain Explosion, he's on top of her. Hey, let her rip, boys. Willie, let's do this. All right. All right, there you go. Hey, I'll think about it. It's under consideration. Oh, my goodness. Isn't this beautiful? My goodness is right. This is the largest pile of junk I've ever actually witnessed in my 68 years on the Earth. Well, I've been roped into a lot of situations where I actually had rather be somewhere else. Oh, look at that one. Huh. But I will have to admit, I sincerely underestimated this bird bath caper. Oh, there's plenty of fountains here to choose from. Look at oh. Unbelievable. We could be here for hours, couldn't we? That, that, that's what's scaring me. I mean, the thing just goes on for acres. Good night. Good night. Good night. Think about that. It's nightmares. Isn't that gorgeous? What do you think? I actually am at a loss for words. Good night. Oh, Phil, look right here. Isn't that beautiful? It's a little redneck boy taking a leak. Isn't it gorgeous? Looks a little risque to me. I love the sound of that. It's restful. Oh. I got to go find the bathroom. He gone. Running water got him. Too much. Shoot, this is gorgeous. I love this. Tell him to load it up and let's get out of here. Ha, don't be ridiculous. We got to look at all of them. <laughs> I couldn't dream of a more exciting place to pick out a bird bath. Hey, look up there. Look up there. I'm telling you, there was just every kind of thing you can imagine there. Oh, man. Love them. Wow. Look at that one. There was one with a pineapple on top. There's a bear. An elephant. I found me some garden wizards. Those are gnomes, guys. Garden wizards. I've got to get one or two or three of those jack o -lanterns. And Godwin found a huge eagle. Miss Kay, what about this? Oh. Oh, boy. It wasn't me. But then he broke it. God was good at breaking things. So what about it, Miss Kay? I don't care what you get, but let's get something and get gone. Get gone is what we need to do. I know I'm going to find it. I know I am. I mean, I, I don't know what's left. Oh, this is it right here. This is what? This is it. Well, yay. Drew Brees will love it. And the birds will love it. Hey, the birds and the breeze, just like that old story. Well, there you go. It's just about hip high for me. It's perfect. So let's get a salesperson. These wizards are heavy. They're gnomes, Cowboy. They got the pointy hats. <laughs> OK, I think it would look good in the garden. In the flyer? Yeah, just kind of by the greenery, you know, kind of. Let's look at that there. You go in Where there, are you Mark? going? Why well, I got to walk back? Stop it. You know, sometimes a woman's indecisiveness can be a good thing. What do you think? No, I think me and Bobo want it moved. Oh, good grief. Especially if the results are two large men sweating profusely. Oh. Hey, look out, man. <laughs> What are you doing? It's a wonderful thing, a beautiful sight, really. Looks a little uneven. I think you'd be better by the flowers. You're drinking tea and they're sweating. Phil, he's getting tired. You getting tired? Are you getting tired? <laughs> Yo, we're getting somewhere. Is that it? That's pretty impressive. Man, this looks good it's, right here. That's perfect. I'm you telling you. You think you like that spot, Bubba? I can see the look in his eyes. He's like, yep. He said, yes. Thank God. Now that the bird bath is installed, the birds are finally safe from Ram Bobo. I like you, Bobo. Good dog. My yard will be like a little bird paradise. So we can eat now, huh? Good call, yep. Martin. We should do that. That is if Bobo hadn't already eaten all of them.
He's eating a lot. Come on, that's the only thing that kept eating big boys here. Come on, Bubba. It's got a hole in it. If it hadn't been for that chocolate pie, they'd be long gone. What, me? No. Did you break that? No. We are fixing to make some serious money. I'm gonna make my whole investment back just on this race. On this race, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Take it easy. Take it easy. Right. Take it easy. Take it easy. easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> the fact that Willie actually invested in a racehorse, it just brightens my day. So, si, why don't you have some kind of conversation and settle this horse down? Well, hey, Willie told me not to talk to her. Go uh, talk to that horse. Easy. I am, I am running for the hills on this deal. It takes a special kind of recklessness to throw caution to the wind and invest in something you have no knowledge of. Everything's looking good down here, Damon. I like what we're doing. Uh, I'm excited. Ready to rock and roll? Yeah, from a distance, I'm ready to rock and roll. From a distance, ready to rock and roll. Personally, I don't have the stomach for risky investments. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, there you go, uh, Captain Bowden. Uh, but when it's Willie's money, oh, it's awesome. Uh, oh, that was all it was, too. <laughs> Yeah. Did he just kick that wall? Yeah. Quit kicking that. Yeah. That, that. Take it easy. He had what is called a gas bubble. Now that she's got rid of the bubble, she's fine. Well, that's the story of my life. Wait a minute. Is that the same horse? Nope. What are you doing? We had a winner with the other one. That horse was lazy. After interviewing Captain Explosions, I've decided to sponsor a different horse, one that's way cheaper than $50,000. You should, you kept the name, right? Captain Explosions? Oh, yeah. Son of Amore. He's called Son of Amore, which means son of love. You should have went with Captain Explosions. Son of Amore. Son of Amore. That just sounds like a winner. There they are. How about that suit, huh? The suit like is Like the nice. duck on it? Isn't that awesome? That is awesome. Yeah. I don't know Stop. yet. Hey, guys, we got to saddle this horse up. And Willie, I want you to do the honors and throw me up. Do the honors. All right, do the honors. Go throw do him up. It's your horse. Throw him up? Yeah, yeah. throw him up. Put, him, on, put him in the saddle. You're good at throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> do I just throw you on it? No, no, no. no, no, no. I don't, I don't think that's going to work. Look, there's two top animals out there, those that like Willie and those that hate him. Hey, Take it easy. easy. I think it's pretty clear, OK? Horses are in the group that hates Willie. OK. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Easy, easy. All right. Ride him like he stole him. We're still working on trying to find those that like him. Let's go Bye, in. Bud. See you, brother. That was frightening. OK. Ooh, I'm nervous. You ready? Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, let's go to the box, huh? Oh, yeah, yes. Let's, let's oh, go no. the box. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Hey, it's a gas bubble, boys. He's trying to work it out. Oh, hello, Silver! Take it up! Take it up, Mama! Catherine Explosion! She's on. You know what that sounds like, boys? Ladies and gentlemen, making money. It's race day here at Louisiana Downs, and I've invited the whole family to come out and watch and share in all the excitement. Hey, hey, there's us. There he is. Go number four. Hold on. They got our horse at 56 to 1? What? So you're telling me there is a chance. Uh, but change. That's about where you boys are here today. And despite all the odds, all 56 of them. All right, guys, they're getting right, in the boy. gate. They're loading the chute. I've got a good feeling that this old son of a more is going to be victorious. All right, boys. Let's yeah. make some money, boys. Got the hammer. Oh, all right, here we go. Hmm. All right, come on, start the race. Oh, right. Here we go. Oh, here we go. 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 All right, come on, Captain Explosion. Come on, son of a more. All right, here we I go. I can't even tell which one's my guy. All right, the race is on, and son of a more is. We're in last place. Are we in last? Yes. Yes. All right, excuse me, second to last. But maybe he's a late sprinter, you know? For all the money I paid, he better be. All right, let's go, Captain Explosion. Show him what you got, son. All right, look, there is only one way to win a horse race. All right, let's go. Hey, let's go. It's all about the rhythm, boys. All right, look, you got to become one with your horse. There we he's go. He's making his move. Come on. It's actually like a well-orchestrated song with his hooves hitting the ground. Cloppity, cloppity, clop. Cloppity, cloppity, clop. 
And then the greatest thing in the world, you hear that sound, and it's in rhythm. Okay, and then you hear the crowd just go insane. Okay, you sprint down the lane across the finish line. First. But hey, of course that didn't happen with capital explosions, okay? He lost. Ah! Go! No. Pet him. Well, there you go. Take some. Break something. Easy come, easy go. Yep, that was a real easy go, my money That's right it. there. Right. That's why gambling is a bad right. idea, right there. Right. Yeah. Yep. Shoot! Well, I just learned the hard way that investing in horses is maybe not the best investment. Oh, my gosh. You ready? Yep, they're not happy. Especially if Cy is your most knowledgeable source. Capital explosions, you're up. Sorry, no good. Heifer! Oh. <laughs> Cy, you realize we're in public. Not only did I invest a ton of money in this horse, I went ahead and threw down a huge bet on him to win. There goes my money. Sort of doubled down on that loss. It go. Pretty much hurts the double. Hurt your heart and hurt your wallet, which then hurts your heart again. It's like a circle of crap. Well, I think I'm officially out of the horse business. The good news is I invested in the other horse. Go! And what? You, you better know. Gambling is a good thing. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I think about this. OK, that's what he thinks about that. It's gone. Where are you going? I'm going to the bathroom to throw up. He gone. This party really died. All right, y'all bow. Father, thank you for this good food we're about to eat. We appreciate your kindness and your goodness. Through Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Let's get on that bird. Life is full of decisions, from small things like choosing a bird bath to big ones like investing in a racehorse. And let's face it, not every decision you make ends up being a good one. But what I've learned is that no matter the outcome, you can't be afraid to take chances. My dad took a chance 40 years ago when he started this company. And hey, look where we are now. I guess the lesson here is that there are no shortcuts to success. When it comes to taking a chance on something, hard work and determination are always your best bet. What, man? Ah. Oh. Can't take him anywhere. I never figured out them guys who go to Italy to run with the bulls. No, Spain. Spain, Italy. It seems like a thin line between being a matador and a rodeo clown. I mean, what what are they thinking? They're not thinking. Why don't anybody just jump on the thing and ride it down to That's the finish line? That's what I'm talking about, just firing. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Got the wood duck calls done? Nope. We're waiting on Reed from Cy. Where is he? He's napping. Yep. It's the middle of the day. Yep. My gosh. I'm getting him. Sai has a condition. He's a redneck epileptic. Sai, it's kind of like being a narcoleptic, but instead of falling asleep randomly, he only falls asleep when he's on the job. Hey, I just mentioned work, and you'd think I shot him with a horse tranquilizer. He's out like a light. Sai. What? You're supposed to be working. What do you mean? We're waiting on Reeds right now. Who is? The company! Give me about 15 more minutes. Hey, look here. Napping is just like hunting. You walk through the warehouse, you look over there, hey, perfect spot. Boom, I'm asleep. I'm not paying you just to sleep. Who is? Side. What? Hey. What are you yelling for? Si, you ain't working. Work, work, work. You've shut all the production down. So get on up. Let's get going. <sighs> get the duck car room. Hey, I'll be there in a few minutes. All right. Work hard, nap hard. Hey, that's what I always say, Jack. Get your butt up. Let's get to work. Give me about 15 more minutes. I'm dreaming about babies. I mean, these guys just don't take it seriously, you know, and that's part of the growing business, what I've had to deal with. Well, that's where I think I can help you, Willie. 
The key to it all is evaluating every avenue of production and try to make things flow together. Since Duck Commander's business is booming, I brought in a business consultant to help us maximize our efficiency. Ah! Oh! What I'm about. And he's gonna have his hands full with this bunch of slappies. What are y'all doing? We're taking a break because it's raining. And we're inside, you idiot. When it's raining, people that work outside take a but break. But you're not working outside. You're working yeah. inside. I'm for equal opportunity for everybody. Yeah. Look, Willie, it's not rocket science. We're on a rain break. You give it a few minutes, the storm will pass, then we'll go back to work. This is Dickie. He's a business consultant. He's going to help us out with some well, ideas. Yeah. It's hard to take a man seriously with the name Dickie. Richard's here to make us more efficient. We're gonna be more productive. Efficient at what? Working. Working. We're trying to make this business better. When is Willie gonna learn that we are operating under maximum efficiency? This thing's over. There's changes are coming, son. You know, when somebody says, do your best, this is the best we got. You're finished, go back to work. Don't you, hey, tough one, Will. Don't you take a dunk at it. See if you can Sorry about that. Yeah, here we go. There you go. Oh, dunk that. Crazy. He's in the soccer man. The boy's got a pretty good leg. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That's too much. Look at it. <laughs> now what am I going to do? Usually, I bring my hot boudin to the church potluck dinner, and they stand in line for them. It's supposed to be 100 people, but they didn't eat. I've never had such a problem getting people to eat my boudin. Must be skinny girls. All they're worried about is if they gain an ounce. You know, I think you could take a couple of these trays. No. You need a sausage, honey. Well, the reason y'all had all that boudin left, these skinny girls, they don't eat boudin. I ate everything. <laughs> hey, I need four or five pounds of boudin in one sitting just about. It literally is better than sex when you're my age. You like a good, healthy woman like me, don't you? Hey, I like a woman who's got a little meat on her bones. Sex or boudin, honey? Uh, let's go with the boudin. Hey, good call. Well, what are you gonna do, give it away? Gotta do something. This is ridiculous. I mean, my friend has an old truck that we could serve out of. What is it, an 18 wheeler or some kind of big rig? Or no, what? it was an ice cream truck that she converted to sell food out of. It's perfect. I like it, I like it, like There you go. I have one question. I know this is a crazy question. Who's gonna drive the truck? I'm thinking about you. So what I get out of this deal? All the boudin you can eat. And I might even give you some kisses later. What about that? But well, that might work right there. One of them back room meetings. I like it, Miss Kate. Thank you. Well, I'll get my money's worth for this day, over. What's up, guys? What's up with this? What is this crap here? Just have a seat, sir. I wanted to call a meeting about the rules of the workplace and efficiency. This is what we need to bring us together. I'm excited about it, and I think they're gonna like it. Employees, rules and regulations, policies and procedures, and other stuff to control you. Sir, si, sit down. We're gonna talk about it in a second. You done lost your mind. Hey, look here at the Viet Cong had a bunch of rules and regulations, too. You see how that ended? Boom! Boom! Talking about. That's what I'm talking about. What did you do with our food room here? This ain't the food room, it's the conference room. It was the food room where we took our breaks to eat. Yeah, and all your food has been dumped in the garbage. Believe me, I cleared it out. <laughs> what? I knew this was a bunch of crap. That's we lost our went. eating place. Well, now we done lost our refrigerator, too. I had a ham sandwich in there. That's been, yeah, that's gone. Well, where are we gonna go eat at? We're not eating right now. We're having a meeting about teamwork. And, by the way, I do have some awesome new free uniforms. This is not a beauty contest. Do we look like beauty contestants to you? Hey, I'm putting lipstick on the pig, so. You put lipstick what? Yeah. You can wear lipstick if you want to. This is not Barbie and Ken that you're playing with back here, OK? Quit trying to dress me up. The only way that I would wear that if I was dead and you Put that on me That's before right. you put me in. bury him. You will wear these or I'll dock your pay. I feel like if I put these clothes on, I'm gonna look like a vacuum cleaner salesman. 
I'm not doing it. I'll tell you that right now. I ain't asking permission. Hey. We doing it, all right? We make uniforms. duck calls. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack. Put your uniforms on, boys. Does that shirt have a collar on it? I don't have a neck. That don't work. By now, I see why you've worn that ponytail all these years. So I've been wearing that ponytail to look more professional. Size so got a rat tail. You got a squirrel <laughs> tail back here. Hey, zip. Squirrel tail. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Working. Working? Yeah. I cannot believe y'all put those uniforms on. Pathetic. You think that you're working with men. This is ridiculous. You're not gonna pay me enough money to wear something that I would only wear if I were dead. And that's because I would have no choice in the matter. Jeff, you look feminine. You actually look feminine. I'm just trying to look professional, man. Si? Hey. You look like you're headed toward your own funeral. I don't like it. Hey, wearing this uniform makes me want to kick my own butt. This has gone way, way, way too far. Nerd alert, and hey, and I'm it. You think his uniforms are bad? He took the doggone rim off our basketball goal. Huh? Not a fan. I want my hoop back. Warden Willie at it again. I can't work in this environment. He's trying to cause a riot. Do, do, do. Hey, hey, hey! Y'all look awesome. Gowan, smoking. I can't breathe. You look good, though. What's up with this crap? Well, if it isn't my wayward brother, Jace, who apparently is hearing impaired as well. All right, Jace, here you go. I'll sign it for you. Jace, go get your uniform. I am not wearing a uniform, ever. All right, I'm docking your pay. All right, dock my pay. Oh, OK. You want to play the corporate game and act like we don't know each other, I'll play that game. If you want to go corporate America on us, then we'll just go on strike. <laughs> I'm walking out of this door, and I'm not coming back. I'm with Jace on this, nephew. Sorry. We finito finished. I'm walking out. Hey, I ain't going to do it anymore. That was my ham sandwich. I need y'all. I can build my own freaking duck calls. If y'all can do it, anybody can do it. Check this out. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Boudin bus. Uh, that is amazing. You like these? I love them. Don't you love them? Oh, I'm all fired up. At 50, I'd have said, no, nah, you ain't get me on no food truck. Boy, this is a pretty snazzy looking little oh, rig here. Oh, my goodness. But at 66, OK, let's go riding on the food truck. Pretty cool. My manhood is not gone yet, but the food truck, you're going that way. Citizens of West Monroe, Miss Kay's booty and get it while it lasts. I'm not a eunuch, but I'm getting close. <laughs> Everything is perfect. Hey, let's go grab the food and grab your shirts. Hey, let's go with it. Go for I it. I like it. Come on, Bobo, you can go with us. We're fixed to bring Duck Commander and Willie to their knees. Mm-hmm. Look at there. Yeah, that's not how you spell sandwich. We're trying to come together, big and small, dumb and smart. Give me my sandwich. My sandwich. Mainly dumb. These uniforms suck. That's right. We're sticking this out because Willie's wrong. I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, <laughs> but I've been told. <laughs> These uniforms suck. It ain't no doubt about it. These uniforms <laughs> suck. It ain't no doubt about it. I'm going to wipe my feet on it. <laughs> what I'd rather do is go hunting in protest. But I'm trying to teach Willie a lesson. I do not submit to stupidity. What do you want anyway? Uh, no. no, not what no. do they want. What do we no. want? All right. This will be a fun venture today. Is this better than a day at the land? No. Well, boudin buggy coming down the road. All right, I see some kids right here, Kay. We might make a sale right here. My job and Miss Kay's job is to enlighten the yuppie world. Boudin has come to the subdivision. Ice 
mean boudin. Boudin. The yuppie kid don't know what boudin is. What's in it? It's hog guts full of rice and some seed and gets you some of them. But these days, show the yuppie kids a hog liver and they like, whoa. Hey, it's hot, it's fast, it's cheap. Skinny ones in the front, fat ones in the back. Let's go. No. Uh, <laughs> I want an ice cream. Them yuppie kids ain't hungry enough. That's their problem. Yuppie kids are missing out and don't even know it. Move on, nerds. Moving on, yuppie kids. They may take our basketball goals. Yeah. They may take our paycheck. Oh. Already done it. But they'll never take our freedom. Yeah. People are honking. We got our signs. We're getting our message out. I feel like I'm making a difference in this world. I'm ready to fight now. Hey, I'd uh -oh. like two of them. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is stupid. Your policies are stupid. Mm-hmm. Hey, this ain't funny. Get your butt back to work. Work, work, work. Nobody takes the time to stop and smell the roses. Hey, so Jack, we're smelling the roses. I'm gonna tell you from personal experience. One time I was smelling the roses, a big bumblebee stung me on the nose. So hey, from then on, look here. You can smell the roses, but hey, smell them quick. A oh, bumblebee's liable to nail you. Here's the deal, let's call a truce. You ready to call the uniform idea? No. You gonna put my rim back on the basketball goal? No. You gonna fire the business consultant? Nope. Forget it. No. Right. Hit the road, Jack. Hey. And don't come back no more, 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 Jack. Boy, that's two Jacks in that statement. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Hey. I'll have you replaced by the end of the day. Good luck on that. Call your you wives, like call your kids. Of... You ain't getting a paycheck, boys. I'm the boss. What I say goes, no questions asked. I lay down the law. I am the law. Mm. You look like the redneck Don Johnson to me. Hit the road, Jack. <laughs> Dang it. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong? You need Houston, a key? Houston, we have a problem. I really got to put a handle on that door. The walk of shame. Cool inside, suckers. So what do we want? Basketball. Oh, respect. When do we want it? Yesterday. Soon. Hey. We've got some organizational issues. What do we want? Black. We've got a problem with articulation. I am savage. But we're united. Hey, I'm hungry. You dog on right. Yeah. I'll call uh, Jessica and get her up here. They're selling a uh, boudin, I think. Boudin? Yeah. That's my favorite food. I'll yeah. call her and get her up here. I'm actually pretty hungry myself. Call her. All right. That's all we need is freedom and boudin. Hey, babe. Hey, we're uh, up here striking at work. But um, hey, can you bring that uh, boudin up here? A bunch of it. A bunch of it? Yeah, about All 10 of it? pounds worth. Yeah. OK. All right, Bob. She's coming. That's uh, what I'm talking about. Look here, boys. I'm fixing to sit down in the shade over here till Justin gets up here with the boudin. Try it. We're striking. I am, too, till I get some food. <laughs> Willie. Hey. What are you doing? I'm on fire. You can't put all these duck calls together by yourself? I am putting all these duck calls together by myself. I'm not going to let these idiots stop production. That's exactly what they want to happen. Seriously? All I need to do is show them I can build duck calls without them, and they'll come crawling back. <coughs> uh, uh, that's not what it's supposed to sound like. Huh? <coughs> that's something. Mm, that's not a duck. I'm fine. I am fine as wine. Seriously? Now that there's what they call a redneck chariot. Bring on the boudin. In this case, hot boudin coming through. OK. Look at all them good-looking bearded men yep. right there. Uh-huh. Hold on right in here. That's it. The cavalry has arrived. Hallelujah, boys. It's boudin time. What's all the signs? We all strike. Well, let me tell you what your son implemented. He had a rule book about that thick. He then brought out various uniforms and acted like that I was fixed to put one on. I'm with you on no suits, no uniforms. I'm with you on that. But Daddy will wear my shirt, won't he? <laughs> this is embarrassing. 
I'm thinking at least my dad will understand where I'm coming from. And then I'll look at him and think, we have a problem. I figured the beard was a dead giveaway that I'm a grown man. Not really. I'm not going to put up with stupidity, and I'm not going to be treated like, like I'm sick. kids. I'm going to get Corey, I'm going to get a bowl of boudin, and we're going to settle this now. It'd be best if you listen to your mother. She's giving you good, sound, kind, gentle, motherly advice. Uh, I would take that advice. If he's willing to compromise. No lip. But if you don't take that advice, then you got to deal with me, and I'll tear your butt up. I'm not wearing a uniform. Sick of Miss Kay. It's your call. Boys, let me tell you something. Miss Kay bore all four of those boys of mine. And when I saw them come forth from her loins, the first thing that struck me is a woman's a lot tougher than I thought they were. And the second thing that struck me is my sex life is over as I know it. <laughs> and then I was about to ask where the boot am was. Yeah, yeah, no. Good grief. Hey, Phil done kill my appetite. You know, I'd have probably threw my boot and sausage up anyway. Having said that, I salute that, women that's it. worldwide. That's it. <laughs> that's it. I think he's coming. This is stupid. Oh, man. Huh? Huh. Don't make a face. You got mom involved in this now? You better believe it. Let me tell you something. Mom's sweet and everything, but when it comes to us, she will kick us in the... Willie, I've been trying to handle y'all for years. Come on, Willie. Work it out. Well, tell him he's being ridiculous. He's being ridiculous. Oh. I'm out of here. No, uh, you're Willie. not. You're going to grow up and act like the man you are. And you're gonna grow up and act like the man you are. There's gotta be some give and take here. Put the basketball goal back up. No slam dunk contest. What? When we have a big order to fill. All right. Don't take four lunch breaks a day. Okay. And no rule books. No megaphones. Okay. No, you both say you're sorry. Huh. Yes, you are, and yeah. you are. All right, say it together. Come on, y'all can do this. Do not laugh. I'm um, sort of sorry. He said sort of. Yeah, I didn't lose. This doesn't mean I lose. Hey, I ain't saying I'm wrong, but if a basketball hoop can keep me out of the duck call room, it's worth it. Pitiful, but come hey. on. Come on. <laughs> that, I count. I'm that not hugging. I'm yeah, not, you I'm are. Not, You're I'm coming. Hugging from him. I've always made the boys hug in the past, and they always make up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop touching me. This is going to set them straight, or I'm going to get the wooden spoon. Stop now, touching me. Now, don't we love each other? Oh, yes, we do. All's well that ends well. He said he's sorry. I said I'm sort of sorry. Sorry, like a sorry turd. Let's see. That's the truth. I'm sick of making duck calls. And, Jace, that megaphone is annoying. But I love the megaphone. Running the Robertson family business is all about give and take. I give them a few duck calls to make, and I take a lot of crap for it. Folks, let's bow. Father, we thank you for another good day. Thank you for the food you bless us with. I pray, Father, that you help us be patient, especially with each other. Amen. 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 But as with all families, there will always be protests and demands, like, let me dress like a hobo and give me my sandwich. When push comes to shove, we usually find a way to reach an agreement. Otherwise, Miss K will slap you right upside your face. Willie, pass me some more boudin. Mom, tell him we weren't doing that anymore. Shut up. This is so nice. Don't you like this? Okay. I brought the game to an art gallery tonight because I've been looking to diversify my portfolio by spending some money on some artwork. James, what are you wearing, dude? Look at you. What's wrong with what I'm wearing? He's wearing camouflage pants. To say that I was forced against my own will to come to this art gallery would be a correct assertion. This is man becoming innovated. What's worse is Willie trying to prove Love this piece. that he's sophisticated. Anybody for a little of the vino? Willie has way too much facial hair to rise to the next level in society. Mmm, it's real balanced. I actually don't know much about wine. You give me a couple of days, I'll be an expert. Nutty. What kind of wine is this? Pinot Noir Reserve. I like the finer things of life. Mmm. I didn't get the sophisticated gene of this family. Let's move on. I started the sophisticated gene of this family. Now, we got somebody with some style.
Hey, babe. How are y'all? Good. Good. Look, nice day. Did you wear the puffy shirt? I like my puffy shirt. Ah, it's beautiful. I got some good news, boys. I just bought a vineyard. Would you oh lose a bet? Feast your eyes on Tuscan Daros. Is that in America? I cannot believe you actually bought it. Actually, I think I'm going to change the name of it. Either to Willie's. Willie's Wine. If something starts off with Willie, it has to be moonshine or nothing. That doesn't sound sophisticated enough, babe. Why is Willie not sophisticated? Willie's Moonshine. That fits. Willie's Wine. Never. I guarantee you do a check, and most people named Willie are either in prison or they're like on the arm wrestling circuit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a businessman. I can see potential. I'll have a little presentation. Oh my goodness. When they see it, they're gonna be blown away. That's what you bought? Yeah. I hope you didn't spend a lot of money on this. You gone out and looked at the ground? No, I bought it online. You bought it online? Yeah, it was in an auction. I got a smoking deal. Oh, my goodness. I think it's going to be interesting. It looks like a cemetery. This is like somebody giving me backstage passes to an insured disaster. Y'all are going to love it. This is going to be the coolest thing we've ever done. I'm going on the ship because if it crashes, I want to watch it. The coolest thing we've ever done. Yeah. Are y'all hungry? Yes. Your favorite, peanut butter and jelly. Yes. yes. Merritt likes jelly. She's gonna make jelly for her husband when she gets big. I only had four sons, so by having the granddaughters, it's just like the daughters I never had, but I always wanted. I know who my husband is gonna be. Justin Bieber. No, no, no. I don't know about this Justin the Bieber. He seems to have swept over all the young girls, but he don't do nothing for me. Well, hey. Well, here yes, it is. Here. Stealing our m &Ms. What about it? Y'all supposed to ask how many y'all killed? Okay. Two ducks. Two ducks. That's right. I'm big excited about it. Hey, Phil, I'm going to need you to take care of the granddaughters for a change. The girls here? Willie just called. He needs me for something. You just take them. You teach them about the trees and the water and all the good stuff. Where we go, little girls like that get killed. No. I don't do well with little girls. Being cooped up with them all day, no, 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 no. That's the mammal zone, not papa. It's your Christian duty as a grandpa to take time with those kids. Oh, I love them little granddaughters, you know, but they are a chore, a big one. You ain't talking about today. Yeah, I'm talking about today. Look, Si, you can help too. OK. Take care of these girls. That's like a Vietnam firefight. I got to get out of this. Do not let anything happen to them, OK? Teach them some life lessons. Bye. I love y'all. Because I know Phil. It's every man for himself. Yeah, I'll teach them some things. Start with shutting up and sitting down. That's the way to be with the little girls. It'll be every little girl for herself. Y'all be real quiet for about an hour. What are y'all going to do? We're going to take a nap. Now we're babysitting, Si. What have we got into? We're so there. Oh, my oh goodness. Oh, my goodness. You know what this is, Kay? What? Robertson Winery. I just bought it. Oh, I really don't know what to say. It's not often that my boys buy something I can actually appreciate. This is beautiful. Like back in the pioneer yeah. days when they had wine, Kay. This is the vineyard. This is beautiful. My question is, where are the grapes? Uh, yeah. Needs a little work, a little work. Hey, Willie, you big extravagant purchaser, where are the grapes? Willie showed me a bunch of pictures of a bunch of vines and hey, grapes. Hey, it's going to look like the picture. Show me the grapes. You got to put hand to plow, son, I hand to plow. Trying to make wine with no grapes, do you believe in miracles? I can see it now. This whole thing is going to be slammed full of grapes. We just hit it at the wrong time. But you can always turn water into wine. If you're Jesus. Oh, it's going to be nice. The last time I checked, your name was Willie. You're going to be buying wine at the quick stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's real funny. I ain't sure where the grapes went to, but hey, there's no problem. When in doubt, figure it out. That's the redneck way. I think I need to call in an expert. You should have called the expert before you bought this thing.
place is nice, isn't it? I know. We just got to figure out how to do it, don't we? That's why I got the expert coming in. <laughs> Look, I realize I'm in over my head. We don't have any grace, but don't hit the panic button. I got a sommelier on the way. Hey, Jeff. Hey, how y'all doing? Jeff Landry with Landry Vineyard. We are just so excited about hearing about y'all buying a winery. It's a tough business. Growing is tough. Winemaking is tough, too. I mean, you might should have found out some facts, you know, about I how to do online. it. I I read a bunch of stuff. Well, good. I feel better now. Thank you. Most of the rednecks I know think wine only comes in a box. There's way more varieties. Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot. That's pretty much the two that I know about. We were gonna do a wine tasting at the end of the month. Uh, you, you, got a, you got a ways to go before you're gonna have something in a bottle. You jumped the gun as usual, didn't you? I thought you just went out there and picked it. You have a degree, but it's not in wine making, is it? No, it's in wine drinking. Okay. I mean, Jesus turned water into wine. How hard can it be? Well, there's a little leaf. This is Blanc du Bois. That's the name of this grape. Blanc de who? Blanc du Bois. It's a wine grape. All these are Blanc du Blancs? Uh, Blanc du Bois. Blanc du Bois. Blanc du Bois. Blanc du Bois. Willie can't even pronounce the name of the grapes. It's Blanc du Bois. See, I can't pronounce the name of the wine. <laughs> I mean, you're four months away before you're ready to produce grapes, but you're still over a year away before you have something in the bottle, you know? Oh, man. I don't know if this guy knows, but I'm about the least patient person on this planet. He's giving me the 10-year plan. I want the 10-day plan. I mean, you can buy grapes, but the problem is this is not harvest season for any part of the country right now. There's grapes at the grocery store, I see. Well, you just buy them and bring them in? That's not the same type of grape. Wine grapes are very complex in, in flavor and character. We'll figure something out. It's about a wine farm with no wine on it. We've got a huge wine tasting event that Corey's already sent invitations out to. We got no grapes and we got no wine on hand. It's time for plan B. Jace. Hey, get me some wine grapes. Wine grapes? When Batman needed something, he called Robin. Google it or something, I don't know. What are you talking about? I got my own boy wonder. You get the wine grapes and meet us here. Well, will he? All right, bye. So how do we get roped in the babysitting detail? Are y'all having fun yet? No! There's more yeah. yipping and squealing coming out of little girls than I even thought was imaginable. <coughs> Where is it all coming from? <coughs> I would say that's just this out of hell, maybe hell itself. Uncle Sly, hey. why are we here? You got work to do on this duck blind. Grab this cane and start putting it on this blind. That's your job, mister. It's your job today. It ain't no telling what these girls going to put me and them through. Hey, so I put them to work. You know, that way at least I can get something out of them. Little piglets. Hey, look here. Get some more mud on that blind. Look at that. We know we got to do something we want to do. Well, what do you want to do? We're waiting to do a tea party. A tea party? We ain't got no teapot. They're trying to feminize us. I could have trained a bunch of monkeys to do more than these girls have been helping today. <laughs> All they've done is get me muddy. Hey! Get, get out of that mud. Hey. And I finally had enough of it and started after him with a stick. Their mother or daddy may not whoop them, but hey, Uncle Si will tear their tail up. See right here, this is how you get ducks. Oh, it took away, not ducks. That's a bad sign. These ain't redneck girls. These are yuppie nope. girls. Rich kids. What is a redneck? Hey, you're not one if you don't know what it is. These girls have gone yuppie right before my very eyes, and it's a frightening sight. My undies are wet. Oh, the thrill and the wonder of grandchildren. I'll show you, redneck. I'm going to teach these grandkids of mine the Robertson way. Let's get them back to the house and hold all four of them down. Come on, get out of there. Let's go. I'm going to be tasting these grapes for a month because all the juice is drained down in my beard. There's Will. Look at him. Got them? Oh, we got them. All the grapes you can eat. Seems like a bad sign when you buy a vineyard and the first thing you have to do is buy some grapes. What vineyard did you get these from? I went to the grocery store and I bought them. He said to get wine grapes. No, but listen to me. I looked it up. All a wine grape is is a grape with a lot of sugar in it. It'll work, I'm telling you. Well, quit eating all of them. 
come right up here. Let me show you something. Stand right here, real steel. Stand real close together. Get in a circle. Y'all had so much fun getting me and Papa Phil all muddy. Now it's time for me and Papa Phil to have some fun. You know what? Look. <laughs> and there ain't one way I know of to clean up a muddy grandchild. Don't run. Just hose the whole bats down. Don't run. Come back here. <laughs> we gotta get all that mud off of you. I was trying to do the right thing here. That was my idea of trying to be nice. <laughs> Are y'all having fun here? Yeah. They all went to squealing and carrying on, you know. <laughs> Women. Now we're having fun, girl. Get back up here. You ain't clean yet. Now y'all all clean. Now look here. You see this right here? You know what that is? Catfish. The best eating fish that swims in the river right here what I have. If you find a woman who knows how to skin a catfish and cut him up, every man on the earth would be proud to have her. I'm going to show you all how to clean him. Y'all watching? We're going to pull his hide off of him. See what I'm saying? Oh. It's just like putting your sock on and taking your sock off. Oh, God. This used to be his head. Watch this. Are y'all watching? No. See right there? Look here. <laughs> this is worse than Jaws. <laughs> Fresh catfish, get the peanut oil on. We fixed that with a fish fry. I thought my granddaughters would be elated. These are like fish nuggets. Ew, that's nasty. That's dinner. Right out of the river, ready to fry. So what do y'all think? Grilled cheese! Grilled cheese! Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. <laughs> These girls don't know what good food is. No, they don't. All right, here's the deal. We got to get the grapes into the crusher. It's going to pull the stems out, drop the crushed grapes into the press, and we'll get the juice. I'm going to crush them. All right, that's the crusher. Y'all get the grapes in there. I'll get it from the press. All right, let's go. Fire in the hole. Maybe this is easier than I thought. We're 10 minutes into this. I think we're good. Juice is flowing. We got juice. You can already smell the wine. Oh! We got a ton of juice. Get it full. Get it full. Get it full. Oh, no. Hey, Jay, it's getting too full. It's getting too full. All right, now it's full. Now it's full. Yeah, I shouldn't have put that last box in. I was close. Thanks. Boy, does this go on it, Will? OK, now what? You're the master winemaker. Well, I'm not sure he knows what he's doing. Now we got juice. See it pushing? Oh, it's bubbling. Oh, this is like taking a wine bubble bath. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, this just sped it up. Oh, no, shoot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's sprung a leak. Hey, we sprung a leak. It's spitting up. We got a blowout. Look, it's just like everybody's, like, leaving the ship. I look down. And I see the regurgitation of grapes in every way possible. Is that the way it's supposed to work? It's like vomiting. They keep oozing out every orifice. Hey, it's coming out at the top. Look out. <laughs> you can't stop. Look, too many. You can't out. Stop. Oh, shoot. Stop. Here, here we go. <laughs> Don't let them come out. <laughs> grapes are flying. Shoom, shoom. Ah. I'm hit. Grape shrapnel. K's down. Oh, my shoes. Ah. <laughs> I never realized that fruit could be so violent and dangerous. It's like a grape horror show. I've never made wine, but I wouldn't think this is standard operating procedure here. What are we going to do now, Mr. Big Shot? This ain't working. I've never made wine, but I wouldn't think this is standard operating procedure here. What are we going to do now, Mr. Big Shot? Look out. I saw this on a movie one time. This is the first job, Willie, that you've ever come out with that's good to have big, weighty individuals. I can taste the wine right now, can't y'all? Oh, this is the fun right. part, isn't this it? This is where the magic happens. I know there's a specific recipe to make good wine. I'll be a dumper. We don't have time for that. Whoops, Jay! If a little sugar and a little yeast is good, I don't know how much sugar to put in it. A lot will make it a whole lot better. Down the hatch. And we're fixing to have the best batch of wine money can buy. Well, he spilled something. He poured it all over the ah. place. Stop it. And when you don't know what you're doing, 
you might as well do it quickly. Jace, we're spilling all our profits. We're gonna make some wine. Let's make something that no one has ever tasted before, ever. Go. Ah! How's it smell? It's got a mustiness about it. We need more sugar. A little spice, a little kick to it, a little nastiness. Oh, yeah. More juice. Golly, that went down my <laughs> shirt. All that sugar. Oh. oh, Phil will be nosing around find that. <laughs> There is no doubt that this wine is gonna be delicious. We put too much work into it. <coughs> All sealed up. What other duck call maker has their own wine? None. We just made some wine. Purple gold. Do you need one of these? I don't think I can use that. I'm not a feathery type person. Granddaughters will exhaust you far more quickly than grandsons, that's for sure. You want some earrings? Fingernail polish? I think I'll pass on both of them. You know, I don't do makeup. I don't care who's waving lipstick and Maybelline around. I ain't going there at all. See, real men don't fool with stuff like that. You need some kind of girly man. If we're going to do this, we're going to do it right. I want nail polish on my nails. Get the nail polish out. I've had a lot of people tell me that I have a feminine side. Right? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Do this with your hands. Oh, you do this? Well, that's one of them deals. You toss a coin and, hey, hope it hits on the right side. We need some lipstick for him. Does anybody Lipstick? Have I know I've got a tiara on my head, earrings on my ears, lip gloss. I don't have any feathers. I have two. I think the little feather thing that I had around my neck and going over my shoulder, hey, that was the finest touch. The rest of it was just wonder dressing. And you could put on a dress. <laughs> oh, no, wait a minute. We're going too far now. Oh, no, yeah, you're going to put no. on a dress, all right. No, hey, don't, don't confuse me with a man that likes to dress up. I'm going to draw the line on, hey, no dress. Good night of living, Si. I didn't know you had it in you. <laughs> you want another hand? Yes. Whew. Pinball Phil is being a stick in the mud. Hey, Ben. I got everybody here. My family. I've got special guests. I've got investors, potential customers. I brought all of them in for this wine tasting. We are so excited tonight to bring to you our latest Mallard Merlot from Duck Commander. <laughs> Duck Commander wine will propel us to the top. At the top of whatever it puts you at with a wine label and duck call combination. Cheers to Mallard Merlot! Yeah. Drink up! <coughs> the wine that we've created kind of tastes like a cross between dough urine and jalapeno juice. Yo! and it smells like coon pee. Hey, I enjoyed it. Full bodied city slickers. Don't know what's good. That's the nastiest stuff I ever tried drinking in my oh. life. My goodness. Well, Willie, at least you tried, son. At least you tried. We're hunters, not gatherers. We can do weddings or something here. <laughs> Just no wine. I'm going to buy wine in the box. Father, we are grateful for one more day on planet Earth. Thank you, Father, for our grandchildren, our little granddaughters. I pray, Father, we never forget where we came from and where we are now. Amen. 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 Dig in. There aren't many sure things in this world, and even the smartest ideas may not pay off, like Duck Commander wine or Phil inside taking care of young, impressionable girls. The bottom line is, if you want an idea to succeed, you have to take risk because the only investments guaranteed not to pay off are the ones you never make. Anybody want to buy a winery? Let's get it out because I got to get out of here. Quit being in such a hurry. Move, dog. Bow, bow. Mom, is Jeff up there? Yeah. Jeff! Don't yell at him like that. He's sensitive. He can't hear me if I whisper. Well, just get up closer and do it. Don't yeah. you? Good grief. 
When mom decides it's time to buy new furniture, she typically calls the Robertson & Sons Moving Company to come help her get it in. Hey, buddy. Hey. Come give mom a hug. But today, she's gonna have to settle for one of the daughters, Jep. Jeff, get your butt up here. Let's get this out. You get up there. Willie, be nice, OK? Oh, he's gung-ho. He's more nimble, like a female. Well, he's got nice calves, see, Will? <laughs> Jeff is the youngest out of all of us. My whole life, my parents have babied him. <laughs> Willie, he's the littlest one, and look what you got him doing. Mom, he's a grown man. Oh. Did you hurt yourself? Ow, 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 ow. Fingers, fingers. Uh -oh. Jeff might as well be the bubble boy. Mom, you got to open the door. OK, well, give me a minute. A minute? Mom, hurry up. Jeff, are you all right? Yeah. Mom, don't worry about Jeff. He's a baby. He's got a fully grown man beard. Cut the umbilical cord. Dude, my wrist is cramping. You're going Shut to up. Hurry. Watch, Jeff. I don't want you to get another hernia. It took you two years to get over that last one. Thanks, Dad. All right, let's try to put it up on its side. It ain't going to fit. Miss Kay, take this thing back. That's exactly Whoa. what. I'm gonna take it back and get that other one I liked, okay? No good deed goes unpunished. You would think I would know that by now, but here we are. All right, let's get it back in the truck. That's all you, man. I ain't doing it. Have you ever seen Die Hard? Yeah, I've seen Die Hard. It sounds like an autobiography of Sai's life. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't get that. I've seen Die Hard. It has nothing even close to me in the movie. Because, Sai, of all the crazy, clumsy things you've ever done, you've lived to tell about it. One time, Sai had an actual heart attack while we were hunting. Remember the heart attack duck hunting? That's pretty incredible you survived that one. And he didn't even know it. Most people say, I better get to the hospital. So I said, hand me some more shells. That's it. Right. How are you still alive? Whoa! Don't hurt yourself, sir. Si. It's a mystery. What is that noise? Oh, it's his stomach. He's been doing that for an hour. I'm about to starve to death. Boys, that remind me. Hey, in Vietnam, they cook up something that's like a fortune cookie, OK? But it's sweet. Were they like donuts? They was the Vietnam version of a donut. Were they hot? Yeah. A hot donut is one of life's wonders. Well, they just slide down your mouth. You know? Oh, yeah. Good night of living. If they passed a law saying the only way you can continue to eat hot donuts is if you shave your beard, it's goodbye beer. What's the difference in hot or cold? There's something about it. Cold ones, I get six. Hot ones, I get 48. 40. <laughs> That's the difference, OK? Now, look, they got a new donut shop that just opened down here. Oh, yeah, right up the road. We're going to ride down there, and I'm going to tell them I want a hot donut. Hey, Amen. Let's do it. We need a field trip. Let's go. We got to sort this out. I don't discriminate between hot or cold. I just eat them. He's not a donut connoisseur. More shopping. Oh, well. We're back. Back again. The first couch was too big to fit through Miss Kay's door. Now we're back for round two. Just pick something small and let's get out of here. You can't rush this. The trick is to get in and out. I like the darker one, don't you think? Perfect. Let's get that. Because if she thinks about it too long, she'll never make a decision. I'm not for sure at all yet. What do you think should go with the dark, like the green with the brown, the gold with the brown, the green and the gold and the brown? Yep. I tell you, this one might look better with that. Let me see. Mom, weren't you just here looking at all these things? Well, things change. Besides, I can't get it all in my remembering. What do you think? Whatever fires you up. The biggest lesson that Willie Boy has not learned about women is they browse. Do you think these pillows just come with this? That's pretty, but not for us. Now, why would that say cat nap napper? Sometimes you just have to sit back and wait it out. Yeah, hey. This wouldn't work, but now that couch would. Oh, look at gray. Kind of like a hostage situation. 
Check this baby out. E. They'd never know I was here, and they walked right by me. It's kind of frightening, actually. Mm. This ain't good. Mom is shopping, and Dad's getting comfortable. Hey. These ain't signs I'm leaving soon. I'm beginning to get into this furniture shop. Oh, my god. Here we go. I'll fix to prove a point to y'all. Mm-hmm. What in the world? You went a free camper for some donuts? It's been there all week. You want to sell some donuts? You back a camper in there and give it away. They'll be rednecks come out of rocks, caves, and mountaintops to eat your donuts. Look at here. Win a camper. Is that for real? That's for real. It's the drawings today. We'll even deliver it. This is redneck society at its finest. That is. What we really want to know is, do you have hot donuts? I'll have you some in 10 minutes, maybe. 10 minutes? Oh. What on earth could you be doing where you couldn't wait 10 minutes for some hot donuts? If they say one hour, you say, I'll wait all day. Look here. If they're hot, I'll eat more than all three of y'all. What are you talking about? <laughs> hot or cold, I'll eat more than you, hey, son. I got you 20 bucks to say oh, I eat I'll more donuts I'll than take all that three of you. I'm in on that. Here you go. Right there. There ain't no way you can eat more than I can. We'll start off with a dozen apiece and go from there. Open us a tab. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't think, looking at me, at my physique, but hey, look, I'm like a small nuclear plant. That's just my metabolism, OK? Boys, hey, I should have just went ahead and put the $80 in my pocket, because I'm going to win. Uh, uh, you ain't going to win, son. You're too you skinny, man. No mm hmm Run your mouth. Go ahead. I'm going to come in number one. You ain't even going to come in second. Look at you boys are in for a world of hurt. I just picked him up off the glass. Oh, glazer. yeah. Well, let's go with mm -hmm. it. Ready, set, go. Here we go. Oh, they are hot. Good, yeah. Oh. That's good right there. That's the best donut I've had today. Looks like y'all are doing pretty good. I'm going to check on the next batch for y'all. All right. Oh, yeah. The eating contest begins. Three on. I look around. Gawain is inhaling one right after another. Martin's over there sucking down chocolate milk just to keep him down. And Sy si looks as cool as a cucumber, slow and steady. Just That's when I realized, oh, yeah, I have met my match. I have to admit, I may be in trouble. I'm about to die. Hey, boys, I'm just getting started. This is just an appetizer. Where are you putting hey. things? In your pocket? Hey, no. Hey, look here. You boys are a bunch of pansies. I'm on 22. Where are you at, Sam? I'm going 29. I could do this in my sleep. You know, hey, thinking about that, hey, I could use a good nap. This is number 32. Oh, I'm gonna bow out at 27. That's all I got. Yeah. I can't do it. I'm done. You boys crying, Uncle? It ain't worth $20 for me to go puke my guts out. Oh. All right, boys. You won, sir. Si. Congratulations. I beat that contest. Now I'm fixing to win that camper. Where's that lady at? Right there. Huh? And hey, look here. With this 80 bucks, I'm fixing to parfait this into some serious cash. Hey, let me get 80 of them tickets for Silas Robertson. <laughs> I'll fix the win that sucker. It's either bet big or go to the house, Jack. Oh, let's get out of here. Y'all wanted some donuts to take with y'all? Not a chance. They were good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, me get up. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I'll hand that. <laughs> Yeah. I'm in, I'm in no shape to be catching 50-pound boxes because I have a weight distribution problem right now. We are suffering from a condition called donut stupor. I hope this makes me throw up. Look at my belly. When you put large quantities of digested donuts in motion, your body becomes a ticking time bomb. Ugh. And then it just falls apart. Yeah, take care. Ah. Them look heavy. Yeah, they're heavy. You lazy hey. rascal, why don't you help us? <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, you old coot? <laughs> why is he laughing? <laughs> he going crazy? He's delirious. <laughs> Too many oh. donuts. <laughs> look right here. You have got to be kidding me. You from the donut shop? I am. Hey, that's what I thought. Which one of you is Silas? Oh, hey, that'd be me, Jack. 
Hey, look here. I've always been lucky. I'm talking about, hey, a penny on head, inside a horseshoe. You gonna need these right here? Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. On top of a four-leaf clover. Hey, my money paid for that. So did mine. No. And rolled up with the leprechaun. Hey, I'll see you suckers later. All right, enjoy your new pad. Oh, I plan on it. Mm. Hey, you still gotta make reads. Hey! <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? No, it's not. Look, well, do the pillows and the comforter come with these beds? Mom, just when I thought the worst was over, Kay discovers the mattress section. Mom, we're getting a couch, not I this. I know, but our bed is 15 years old. This is going to be bad. Oh, I'm just going to try this out. Mom. Hey. <laughs> Agile. <laughs> hey. Tool. He. I don't think, I think that's against the rules. No, we got to test it out. Mom, you don't need a mattress. Well, come on, let's see if we can spoon. Let me but go. But you have to turn sideways. I'm not even, I'm not even going to look at this. I think there's something in the Geneva Convention about it being inhumane to force somebody to watch their parents in bed. Well, this is giving me something to look forward to. Ah, forget waterboarding. This is real torture. We're in public. How about this? I don't, I never did like shaking the sheets to find my woman. Well, you never have had to, have you? Not at all, honey. I know where you be. Well, you want to go in the lowest part of the bed. Just find where it goes down. She be down in there. Well, she ain't quite as agile as she was, but hush, hey. Hush, hush. I wouldn't want to be rummaging around hunting up my woman in the dead of night, as they say. We've now entered the comforting zone. You know what I'm saying, Miss Kay? Yeah. Is that sex? Oh, my gosh, Mom. Willie just needs to grow up. I mean, it's like he knows about the birds and the bees and what people do in that bed. Can you get us that comforter? Would you like some mirrors, too? Would that help out, or? <laughs> no, you, you, don't, you don't want to watch what me and your mom have been doing. That is way too much of that. Make sure it holds me good. Oh, I love this. Thank oh, y'all sure look cozy over here. Now, which sofa was that y'all had picked out? It's that chocolate-covered one that's over there by the window. I think she means chocolate-colored, not covered. OK. Y'all could take the couch with you today, or you can have it delivered for an additional $70. Delivered. 70 bucks? Dad, I'll pay for it. It's not a problem. It's not the money. It's the principal. Oh, crap. That's great. Now I'm going to have to lift another couch. All right, we'll take it with us. OK, I'll go get your ticket ready. So. Can't wait to see what else this day has in store. Do we have to pay to clean this thing? I take a regular bath every Saturday. Oh, boy. It's awful quiet in here. I'm enjoying the peace and tranquility of life without Cy. Cy has turned his fancy little camper into an office of solitude. And he's given me the greatest gift he's ever given me. Silence. This is my last read. How many more do I got for us? My count is five. Five? Let me go check and see if he's building any of them. Yeah, you're going to have to go out there and tell him we need some reads. Unbelievable. This is the way we do it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. In living color. Sam, si, what are you doing? Hey, I'm cooking me something to eat. I got hungry. God, that stinks. Hey, that's my squirrel and spaghetti. How in the world can you be hungry after all them stinking hey, donuts? Look, that, was a, that was a snack. Whew. Oh, good grief. So you ain't got those reeds? No, tell Jay it's that work in progress. Oh, good lord. All right, I'll tell him. I'm out of here. Whew. And no, 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 Mm. Boom, 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 boom. What's the verdict? Cy has got some kind of squirrel concoction out there. That mess turned about two weeks ago, it smells like. Oh. He don't have any reeds? No, 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 no. Who would have thought that Cy could have out-eaten y'all? I wouldn't have thought it. <laughs> this is a problem. This is the way we do it. We're officially out of reeds. Done. This won't work. We gotta have the reeds. 
It all comes back to that stupid raffle. Si, turning this camper into an office, it's not working. We've created a perfect storm. He has brought production to a screeching halt. We can't just sit here. I, I, I gotta have Reed. I would say he's the cow in the track stopping the train, but I would never look at my Uncle Si and see a cow. Well, let's go out there. This won't work. Hey. Unless it was severely malnourished. What's the man doing? It's not gonna work. Si, we need some Reed. Sir? Sir? Check his pulse. Make sure he's alive. He's out. If he wasn't snoring so loud, I'd think he was dead. Let's pour some cold water on him. If there was ever a perfect opportunity to mess with my Uncle Si, now is the time. I got a better idea. What's that? Follow me. Hello? This is one of the best ideas I've ever had. How about a little ride to the middle of nowhere? Jack. I've never seen a man sleep quite like that. Oh, it's impressive. <laughs> Bingo, we got that sucker. Bring this big puppy right on in here. Oh, that looks good. All right, little sister. All right. Good job, Jeb, getting the cushions. Yeah, didn't he do good? Mission accomplished. Jeff, take that crap off of it. Finally, Kay likes the couch and all is well in the world. Now I can get back to doing what I do best, giving orders, not taking orders. This is the official unveiling. Mm, are you excited? Oh, yeah, yeah. What you think, Mom? It's awesome. Well, I hate to say this. Uh-oh. I don't like it. I don't oh, like it down here. Oh, no. What? The dogs are not even jumping on it. Bobo's over there. Jesse Three's over here. They, Mom, we're not letting just... the dogs decide what the couch is. Well, they live here, buddy. Dad, tell her we're keeping this couch. Great cooking. She treats me like a king. Let's see, has Miss Kay ever turned me down for a little loving? The dogs didn't like it, Will. Got to go. Whatever Miss Kay wants, that's what she gets. You know, I kind of like my old one. It's got a lot of memories. Well, we're right back where we started, Will. <sighs> Maybe we can give it to you. Yeah. Now we're talking. Oh, oh see, look at it. Oh, my Isn't gosh. It? You got to be freaking kidding me. I'm not kidding. I just went through the seven circles of hell to get that couch down here. And you're going to give it to Jeff for free? It could be a birthday present. Yes. My birthday's coming up. It's in six months. So? Sometimes when you have to work really hard for something, it makes it that much sweeter when you actually get it. I should tell Jeff that, because otherwise, he'll never know. So we're going back to the old couch? Yep. Good call. All right, I'm out of here. Enjoy the couch, Jeff, because next time I'm over at your house, I'm going to pee on it. The dogs made the ruling. Hey, Willie, can I borrow your truck? No. I just wonder, what's the first thing he's going to say when he opens that door? Probably going to feel like Lazarus. He's been <laughs> risen from the dead. <laughs> There's nothing like a good old-fashioned Robertson family road trip. Uncle, nephew, bonding time. Let's see, I think this is the perfect spot. This is the best idea we have ever had. Unload. Mission complete. All right, let's get, let's get out of here. Enjoy, sir. Sweet dreams, Uncle Si Robertson. Sweet dreams. He's still sleeping. Now I know how he made it through the war. He just slept through it. He just slept through it. Man, that was a tranquil nap. Look here. I felt like I was floating on clouds the whole time. Oh, oh. This camper is like being dipped in, in the fountain of youth, boys. Oh, oh. All right, very funny, boys. Hey, get y'all's butt back down here, you three stooges. Good grief, boys. Hey, whatever happened to respect your elders around this joint? Man can't even go take a nap anymore around this idiot. Hey, is that funny? 
Why are you at it? <laughs> All right, y'all bow. There he is. Yo, hey, Sal. Si. Si, nice of you to join us. It ain't funny, you three stooges. <laughs> <laughs> Father, we thank you for this good food that you blessed us with. Help us to love you more and love each other. Amen. Amen. Being a good family man is often an exercise in patience. I mean, getting through to a loved one can be as difficult as getting a couch through a door. Except there's no return policy for indecisive mothers, spoiled brothers, or uncles with donut food comas. But with a little love and patience, you'll find that all family, no matter how quirky or weird, is a perfect fit. And I wouldn't exchange them for anything. Jeff, how'd you get that couch out of here? I paid a couple of guys to do it. Good thinking, son. Well, 